U.S. fighter planes fired warning flares after Russian jets entered an agreed non-conflict area over Syria, the U.S. Defense Department says. The two Russian Su-25s flew east of the Euphrates River and into U.S.-designated airspace on Wednesday, the Pentagon said. One of the U.S. F-22 jets was nearly involved in a mid-air collision with a Russian plane, according to the U.S. However, the Russian Defense Ministry has denied the U.S. account. In a statement it said the two Su-25s had been escorting a humanitarian convoy near a town beside the Euphrates when they were approached by the two F-22 jets. At the weekend Russian official Igor Konashnikov said he was bewildered the U.S. had staked a claim over part of Syria's airspace and accused the U.S.-led coalition of operating in Syria illegally. This is the most serious such incident involving Russian and U.S. planes over Syria, BBC defense correspondent Jonathan Marcus says. According to the Pentagon, numerous calls were placed on the emergency channel to convey to the Russian pilots that they needed to depart the area. A Pentagon spokesman said a verbal agreement was made between Washington and Moscow over the deconfliction zone in early November. Under the agreement, the U.S. considers the area to the north and east of the Euphrates River part of their skies, while Russia has freedom to patrol west of the river. But the U.S. says Russian planes have flown into its zone six to eight times a day. It's become increasingly tough for our pilots to discern whether Russian pilots' actions are deliberate or if these are just honest mistakes, the spokesman said. What this means. By Jonathan Marcus, BBC News defense correspondent. This is the most serious incident so far involving an encounter between U.S. and Russian warplanes over Syria. It reflects the proximity of Russian-backed and U.S.-backed forces in the Euphrates River Valley, as the campaign against the remnants of so-called as moves into a new phase. The battle now is about who controls territory on the ground, previously part of the East Caliphate. Washington and Moscow have agreed that some 70 kilometers, 43 miles, of the Euphrates River should be a de facto demarcation line between their air operations but, over recent weeks, Russian jets have frequently crossed into airspace on the eastern side of the river. The firing of flares by the U.S. aircraft in this latest episode is not an offensive action but one intended to underline their presence, after which it appears the Russian aircraft withdrew. But it is a worrying sign of the growing potential for accident or misunderstanding.